Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you these three beautiful autumn themed nails. I love autumn time and I love all of the colors that come with it. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below which one of these three are your favorite. So for the first design, I am going to start off with a pumpkin-y color. This is from Amazon. I got it in a fall themed kit. I will leave it down below in the description box for you to check out. They're super pigmented and one coat is enough. So I just went ahead and applied one coat of that and then I cured it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some matte coat onto it because I'm going to be using foil. Foil does not stick onto matte, this is why I used some matte top coat. I am then just going to grab some McCart gel foil glue and I'm going to place that randomly all over the nail and I'm going to cure that for a full 60 seconds just to make sure that it is tacky enough. I am then going to grab some gold foil. You can use whatever color you want but I just love using gold for the fall and I'm going to start rubbing that into where I applied the gel foil glue. Sometimes it can get tricky to get it all off in one piece so I just go ahead overlap it again and I just like to rub it a little bit with my nails just to make sure that is adhered properly onto the glue and then once you peel it off again it will cover the whole entire spot. Next I'm just going to take some black polish and I'm just going to start by making these tiny little vertical strokes around the gold foil. This just gives the cheetah leopard print nail more of a fuzzy furry look rather than a cartoon look. I just prefer doing it like this but you can do it whichever way that you like to do it. If you have any empty spots, you can fill them up with more spots if you will. But I'm just going to go ahead and fill my empty spots up with more um, solid black vertical strokes. The next thing you want to do is top coat it. You can use a matte top coat if you want, but I just used a glossy top coat because I just wanted it to be a glossy nail and I wanted the foil to pop, which is why I chose the glossy one, but it looks beautiful in matte as well. But I loved the way that this nail turned out. It's perfect for autumn. If you do recreate this, be sure to tag me on Instagram. Um, I can't wait to see your recreations and I cannot wait to use this on one of my clients as well. So for the next nail, I'm going to be using a khaki green color. Again, this is from the Amazon kit I was talking about. This is also very pigmented. I love it. Um, it's a beautiful olive green color. This one is going to be a chrome ombre, and this chrome is also from Amazon as well. I love getting nail supplies from Amazon. Sometimes they have beautiful things for super cheap and in bulk. So I just chose to use a orange chrome for this which is so unique for my chrome ombre I just took the sponge applicator and started at the tip and gradually pulled it upwards making sure there was less chrome powder on my little sponge and once you're happy with it go ahead and put some top coat onto it and cure so for this nail design I wanted to do some leaves I love 
leaves in autumn i love the leaves actually all year round i love drawing them on nails so this is the shape that i decided to go with you can obviously do as many as you want as little as you want or any other shape you would want uh, also this would look beautiful in matte but again i decided to go with glossy nails i sometimes usually prefer glossy over matte but nonetheless i think these all would look beautiful in matte as well so you could do whichever one that you like the best i also really like the way this came out these colors were just screaming fall to me and i am also very much so obsessed with this nail design just like every other one i create So for the next nail, I decided to do a fall color tie and dye theme. I started off with a nude base and I then used the colors from my Amazon kit as well. I decided to use a khaki color, like an olive color, the rustic pumpkin-y color. I then also used a mauve purpley color as well as a brown there was no brown included in the kit so i used one from dnd &D. so i went ahead and dropped a little drop of each polish onto a little palette just so it's a little bit easier for me to pick it up then i'm going to grab a brush and start layering all of the colors i am not going to cure in between each color uh, because I do want them to be wet so I can drag through them before I pick any color up I do quickly wipe it on a little cotton pad that has a That has some alcohol on it just so it's a bit clean So I'm not contaminating each color as some are super dark and some are quite light You can use any color you want, you don't have to use these specific colors, but these are just the ones that I really liked together. Um, you can do any pattern you want, you can use more colors if you would like, or you can even use two colors if you would like. The options are endless and it's all up to you, you have creative freedom. going to take a long striping brush and I'm just going to drag through from the top to the bottom as soon as I reach the bottom I am going to wipe my brush just so again I'm not contaminating any of the colors all right so when I was happy with how it looked I just went ahead and flash cured it and I'm going to be adding another um, tie-dye pattern at the bottom just because I found it looked a little bit too empty for my liking of course if you just want it to be more minimalistic you can just keep it in the corner you could also do some French looks with this and it would look beautiful as well I think that would look actually very neat so I went ahead and did the same thing at the bottom I just kind of switched up the pattern and did it the opposite way so this time around the brown was on the top um, doesn't really matter they're pretty much gonna look the same once you're done uh, pulling the brush through it so again I'm just going to grab the striper brush and I'm going to pull the, it through making sure I'm wiping it after every single swipe down so just to spice it up a little bit and add a little bit of something to the nail, I decided to take a chrome gel. This is from AliExpress. So I'm just going to outline the little pattern that we just made in this. And for all of my matte lovers, this one's for you. I did go ahead and matte this design. I just think it looked a lot cooler and a lot more prettier with the matte top coat on this tie and dye look. Alright, so it's safe to say that I really liked this nail design as well. I thought it was really unique and different. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye!